Hey guys, Tangle here. Um, this is my AR-15 uh, 300 blackout rifle. It has a Wilson um, barrel on it. It's, it's a uh, medium profile, I believe they call it. And what I want to point out about this thing is the gas block I've used in here. That's a Wilson gas block. It's adjustable and it's got a little bit of a cork to it. Um, from what I've seen, many of them have some kind of quirk. I think the problem is, is you're always turning a set screw in or out to adjust the amount of gas that feeds back in the system. I want to show you what the problem is. Uh, since my gun is all together and Loctited up, I don't want to take it apart. So I'm going to use another gas block just to illustrate what's going on here. Um, just about any uh, adjustable gas block instead of having a tube here that feeds back the gas it's up here so we got two holes now so the gas comes from the barrel port up through here through a metering um, device a set screw with some sort of end on it to block or release gas and it comes up into that second area shoots down that tube and operates the bolt which by the way if you get an adjustable gas block you need to get a straight gas tube not the one with a little offset in it all right here's what's going on let's just imagine this is the hole that we stick our allen wrench in to adjust the set screw to adjust the gas flow well you can adjust it but once you get it adjusted something's got to keep it in place uh, there are a couple of ways to deal with that. One way is the, I believe it's Cyric, they have a push button right here. And you push that down and twist this. And guys, I don't know how helpful that is or not. I'll be honest with you, I haven't used one. But I can imagine trying to put a set an Allen head wrench in here, push a button down that's flat, that should be dimpled, and trying to hold that and adjust that and, and everything's in the way so I'm, I don't know that that's any better than what Wilson does but here's what Wilson does you have a um, Allen head cap screw set screw and it does have a little uh, kind of rod like thing on the end to meter the gas you set that to wherever you want it and then you put a set screw behind that and tighten it down well so far so good but here's the problem this is the set screw it's a threaded rod like most set screws are you can't see that can you now <laughs> it's a threaded rod you can see the threads with an allen head um, cap screw in it the problem is can you see that the tip has come through this thing it's just hollow. There is no, no end cap on this. So when you put that on an Allen wrench, and I'm going to use a short end, I'll show you why in just a minute, this thing just simply slides down it. So now imagine I've got my gas block set screw set to where I want it, and I'm going to try to put this back in there with it sliding up this Allen wrench. Well, that's just not going to work. So you find ways to put this on the Allen wrench on the long end. I'll show you why I'm not using it in just a second. Stand the gun up vertically and hope you get enough pull from gravity or something to let this thing get started. If it ever gets started, it, it works. Now, I'm just making a shot in the dark here that the reason this is open on both ends is if they had it closed like a normal set screw, it must cause problems when it tightens down on the gas regulating set screw. So the issue is, how do we stop this thing from sliding back down the Allen head wrench when we try to install this? Well, this is my solution. I don't know how good it is. There are probably other solutions. But what I've done is got a small piece of brass tubing that I had in the shop, and I cut it off short. And it's a little bit smaller inside diameter than my wrench is. So I had to force or press fit that on. Now, it's not real tight, but it won't go anywhere. But what that does is it lets the set screw go on there and it stops. Uh, another problem you have when you're dealing with the set screw, whether it's already in or where it's out either one, is if the Allen head wrench gets in too far, 
it's sticking out here and now it not only engages this set screw it engages the gas flow meter and you can see that the stop the small copper uh, tubing here actually it's probably brass keeps this from going down and protruding on through there so to get this thing to work now all we have to do is put this in there and find the hole and twist it a bit and it gets started and you can drive it right in. I got it in the wrong place. No, I don't. No, I guess I did too. But anyway, that's the problem. And if I was really doing this, I'd put it on here, turn the gun up vertically so I could see it. And um, well, let me just do it. We'll put her right in there and get it started. And once it starts, it's just a matter of twisting it in. And it did start that time, so we're just about there. It will dead end there. It's dead ended on the gas block, and that works. Uh, this also has the advantage, as I was alluding to earlier, when you start to take that out, this sleeve keeps you from inserting the Allen head wrench too far so that you don't uh, engage both the lock set screw and the gas metering set screw at the same time. It just makes it hard to to bring it out if you do. So that kind of erases any doubt as to how far in you need this thing to go and it keeps it from going in too far and not far enough and it also helps you get the, that uh, hollow set screw thing started again. Um, I think that's going to be a big help uh, especially if you're at the range or something and decided you didn't quite have enough gas flow or you had too much or whatever and you want to adjust it. Otherwise, as far as I'm concerned, as it stands without this on it, it's, it's almost unserviceable at the range. It's just too much hassle. So that's my solution.